So if you want to tell me about it. Uh, okay, basically what happened about. was was uh, I got a got a contract with we got a contract with the Marine Corps. Yeah. Uh, I went to I went to my distributor and ordered my product. Uh, I was one of the first people to the to the table to get the pro- get the pricing for it. So when I came and got the pricing for it, I was given a price that was that was way lower than what than what it really was a mistake on their end. So everyone else who applied got the right price, so they had a higher price, of course. And then I won the bid because of my price was incorrect. Now, when you say everyone else that applied got a higher price, how is that? Well, no, no, no. Not saying they got a higher price. They quoted me the incorrect price initially. But how do they do that? I'm not sure. They said it was a, a Ingram said it was an issue on their side, and they, that's why they met, they worked out a deal with me to try to give me a discount on some of the product. When it, once they once I tried to order it later on, they told me this is this pro, this price was incorrect. We're sorry, we made a mistake, and now they're trying to give that they went ahead and pushed it through, went to the VP and everything, and got me some pricing discounts to keep them to, to kind of level it out to make it more make me still competitive, but yet not. So, really who was the company that you had the pricing from? It was Dell. You got it from Dell or you got it from a third party vendor? No, Dell directly, Dell Federal. They just it was a quoting issue. They said it's something wrong with their quoting tool. They quoted me wrong initially. So it was a it was a it was a it was a customized build for for a, for some high class and high performance laptops. So the build information that got sent over to them didn't send over them correctly from Ingram. So they quoted wrong back to Ingram and Ingram told me the wrong price. So wait, 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 wait. You said you got it from Dell. Now who's Ingram? Ingram, uh, Ingram is the, uh, is my distributor. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. That's why I asked. You said you got it from Dell, but how did you? No, no. It's the Dell Federal works with Ingram. Right. So, so you got it from Ingram. I got the price from Dell through Ingram because Ingram orders the actual bill from Dell. So Dale gave me the wrong information back to Ingram. So what I took took to, to the customer, to the end user, was the wrong price. No, no, I get that. I'm trying to figure out, because normally uh, when you do order these kind of things, you get it from a distributor. That's why I'm confused yeah. is how you yeah. got it from, because you keep saying you got it from Dale, but then you really didn't get it. You got it from Ingram. Okay, yeah. Your quote says, what does your quote say on it? Ingram? It's Ingram. Right. Dale Federal, you know, so, yeah. Uh, we got to be clear. Okay. If you pay, if you write a check, who are you gonna write your check to? It's gonna be Ingram to get to pay Dale. <laughs> All right, there you go. So Ingram got the wrong price from Dale. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you have it in writing. No, the, the price was wrong. No, no, no. You have the price, the quote in writing. Yes. The original, want, quote. the original quote is in writing. See what happened was they originally ordered eighteen of them. Who did? Uh, Marine Corps. Marine Corps did. Okay. So then, then they had because they had a thirty-two gig option and a forty, a sixty-four gig option. Yep. So what ended up happening was they said when they first asked for the eighteen, I got the wrong price on the eighteen. So when I went back to get the fifty-five, when they wanted fifty-eight of the sixty-four, they told me we can't honor this price that we gave you for the eighteen for the fifty-four. At the time, so they basically told me that I couldn't that the price wouldn't, wouldn't wouldn't even though the quote was still supposed to be good. They told me they couldn't give me that price. So I I fought with Dale, and basically they well through Ingram we fought with Dale, and they, they basically were like we can we can try to push something through cut through there with you the eighteen at that price. That's what this is what end up the end end all be all is that they gave me the eighteen for the price they originally put. Okay. So, okay. But, but, they, but the other forty they gave me for the regular price. As opposed to everybody else who came later after it was amended and they put, they bid it, they got the regular price all the way through all fifty, all fifty-eight. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So the the task order was to provide eighteen of one and forty of another set. Well, no, it was supposed to be fifty-eight total. Okay, so fifty-eight total. So then, why did you say? Why did they give you eighteen at the right price? I mean, at the at the, your or at the your quoted price. The original quote was for eighteen. Then it got up to 55 when it got refreshed, 58, whatever. Uh, okay, so the government originally put it out for only 18? Yeah. And then they updated that to go up to 58? Yes. Okay. So that was, so you got a quote for 18. 
Yeah. The government said, okay, we want to buy more. Was did they issue uh, a PO or for the 18 or no, never just no. Was that just during the process of the negotiation? During the process. Yeah, okay. Or the process of the solicitation, they went and changed yeah. 18. They amended it. They amended, okay, before they ever awarded anything, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so now we've got our price for 18 of these items. The government says, hey, we want 58 now, right? Yeah. Okay, so then you go back and say, all right, go back to Ingram, say, look, we need a quote for 58. Yeah. Right? And then they gave you a revised quote that showed 58 quantity for X dollars. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about so how much was it? How much were they? How much were, were they? Were the 18 or the, or the, or the original? Originally they, originally, they told me there was 1,800 for, the, for, the, for each laptop. Okay, okay, hold on. That was the mistake. 1800 per, okay. And then they came back and told me that it was, uh, later on when I went back, they told me that the, the, was, the bill was incorrect. So they told me the price was actually 4000 That's before any markups, by the way. I mean, I can see why you won, right? Exactly. <laughs> I, <see why> I, <laughs> I mean, you know, that's, I mean, that's really. <laughs> that's, that's, that's no brainer now. Yeah. I'm like, that's, that's, Duh, that's like, yeah, of course I would. You know, I, I, I'm at half the price. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, and now, now I have to go back and tell them the bad news. So I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling, like I'm scared that something's gonna happen. I don't so, know. so. All right. They quoted you eighteen hundred from Ingram Fidel for for the eighteen or for the fifty eight. Eighteen. And when I when I and when I, no no no. But I'm saying for the fifty eight and writing on a piece of paper. What did they quote you? I got the same price. They said it was eighteen hundred. They said they said it was good. The quote the, the price was good good for the same different quantity. So I was told. That's what I was told. No. What do you have in writing? I, they send me. They send me a spreadsheet with it on there. They what just, do you, gotta, they what do you have in writing for your quote? Well, the last quote I got was for the eighteen. And they they told eighteen hundred bucks a piece, right? Yeah. So okay. so I, I went and got got the got the fifty for the uh the, the fifty to eight hundred. I got a quote back for that. And once I got that one back, now we didn't run into no any issue until after I uh, the, I get any issue until I, I I uh I went to go have it ordered. So when I went no, got no, no, no. I know, but I'm saying, again, if uh, right now in writing you have a quote for eighteen of these at eighteen hundred bucks. I have a quote. I have a quote for fifty, fifty-eight open to, for that price as well. No, you, you didn't say that. You don't have it. You said you said they told you it was still good for fifty-eight. Yes, the same quantity was still good for that. Yes, but do they have? But in, on writing on a piece of paper, if you had to show somebody. Does it say the fifty eight for eighteen hundred bucks with a total amount? No, it doesn't. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm afraid of. Well, because I mean, even if uh, because you know, if these people, if they had given you that, they I, they would have honored it. Because you could, I mean, you could sue them for yes. th for that. Well, here, here, what they what they what they said was what here Dale Dale CTO does have a rule that they they pretty much got lawyers and pretty much like hey whatever you happens happens sorry price could change at any time so they, that's not they, no they no, no that's not true that i i disagree with that if they give you a writing 58 times 1800 which is a dollar amount then they would honor that price i disagree well, they, well that's the reason why they were able they, they went ahead and, and did what they did on the back end though because they no mistakes. they're just but i mean to that that's just them being nice um I'm telling you. And and again, like I said, when I came into the conversation, I already kind of suspected this, but I, you know, I want to hear it out. I, it's very rare that I find a case where someone has something that's written in stone and writing that the companies go back and change. Very, very rare that that happens. So that's why I was, that's why again, I'm, and I'm happy you told me the whole story. I was listening. Well, well, what I was told by Ingram was that the price, it, when they quoted the price, it's just a bill. And they tell you the bill, the, the same 18, 18 thing was the same for 58. So they say the but, price. But, but I, and I agree with you. But let me ask you this. Do you have it in writing for 18 at $1,800? 1800 
Yes. Okay. So you could get the same thing for the 58. That's what I was supposed to be. That's what I was told. Yeah. No, not what you were told. You should have the same. I need a document that says 58 no, times 1800 equals okay. this is the amount that I'm paying you guys plus freight, taxes, shipping, okay. handling, okay. dot, 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 dot. Like I said, you ordered off Amazon. Okay. Okay. So, you get what I'm saying? So, um, listen, I think that, you know, you did a good job. I don't think you did a bad job. I'm not knocking you. Uh, I'm happy. You know, part of uh, going through this stuff is having these kind of experiences. So I'm not, you know, in any way condemning what Except you did. I think I'm you did a great I'm learning job. from what you're saying. No, no, I, I think you did a great job. I'm not. I, I think that, um, so, you know, again, because a lot of people don't put themselves out there. At the end of the day, again, like I said, if you could, you, you could only fulfill the 18, um, and you can't fulfill the other 40 of them, then, um, you know, I mean, that's what it is. That's all you could do. You can't. But, but, but I have, I had the PO. So I got the PO, I signed the PO and now for 58 I'm, for 58. Yeah. So basically now they're, uh, I have to contact them today and tell I mean, them you can't, you can't honor it because, um, of the, let me ask you something. I mean, you, are they willing to give you something in writing saying, acknowledging they made a mistake? No. Why not? If everyone told you this, they told you that, they're trying to help you out, they, it's a computer error, are they willing to give it to you in writing so you could go back to the, the, con, the government and acknowledge that? I from probably them. Could, I probably could get something from Ingram. Not but, probably uh, could. You, hey, I would say... I would get on the phone with my Ingram guy and say, hey, look, I, you know, I can't go back to the government um, and good face and state that, um, you know, this was a, this you guys error or I made because it's going to appear as though I made the error. So okay. without anything in writing from you guys, how can I go back? To, what leverage do I have to go back to them to ask for? Because, I mean, you, you're not going to eat it. Yeah. So, t so tell me this, though. What, what, so what should I when I go back to them? Will they do they usually re, re, re uh, cancel the PO and reissue it, or will they just? Uh, Why would they do that? I don't, I don't, they could possibly want to do. What if that was your strategy to bid low, to go back and get the contract so you can go back and bump the price up? What if what if my strategy? What if that was your strategy? Oh, that's not my strategy. No, no, no. But how do they know that? I agree. That's the issue. People, some people have a strategy of going in, underbidding the job, just so they can, once they win the job, they can go back and bump the price up. Okay. So, do you, so, so they won't, so you don't think they'll really do it or just cancel it, you think? I think that you should get a letter from Ingram acknowledging the error that you can take back to someone, um, your, your point of contact at the government. That person has someone to answer to. That person has someone to answer to, and um, your word means nothing. What's oh. in writing is what holds all the weight. Okay. So my recommendation is go back to Ingram um, and Dell. Have someone write you up something, if they're even willing to do that, which I, you know, I suspect they won't. But it's definitely um, if if everything that you're saying is true and that they um, committed to providing 58 at this price and at the same time they agreed or acknowledged that they made a mistake and they erred because it was a computer glitch, whatever the case may be, then they should not have uh, any reservations about coming forward in a letter, a statement saying that this is what happened, this is what occurred, um, and that we do not hold this particular person responsible because he provide he was given misinformation and therefore he passed on misinformation and they can they now um, can no no they cannot or no longer honor the price that was originally quoted. Okay. So uh, so so if 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 for some reason so is there any have, in the past have you ever seen where they've redone the PO or did, or did they just they don't can't, they don't ever do that? 
okay, so let's look at it from the government standpoint. I'm the government guy. You come to me and say, you tell me your story. That's the same thing you told me. And I go, okay, Mr. Stevens, not a problem. I said, um, I respect that. What evidence do I have that they made a mistake? Okay. Now, if I am able to get that evidence, what do you think can happen from there? How about let's get the evidence first? Yeah. Let's get the evidence. I mean, if, if, if you if you don't have the evidence, you're just telling a story. Okay. So what, what what's the worst case scenario that you've seen in the past that if some if I was no, not- I mean the worst case scenario, they cancel the contract. It's okay. What will, will I get banned or barred or anything like that if something happened like this? Nah, you won't be the bar. Okay. I mean, I mean, uh, they're not going to do business with you that particular. Um, but again, that's a the Marine Corps. This is one division within a a, 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 a whole battalion of. Marines. I just don't want to look stupid. I, that's my main thing because I still can deliver this. I just it, it just can't, listen. I'm going to tell you something. I would not tell you to eat that difference. There's no way. My good conscience, I would tell you that. I don't care if you were loaded. I would not tell you to eat that difference because um, you cannot pay to do business with the government. Yeah. We're here to make money, not lose money. And I'm not saying, you know, there's not going to be some deals where, like, for example, with us, we, you know, we have a construction project. We bid it for a million dollars and then we have cost overrun or, sub, you know, things happen throughout the project that we did not foresee. I can't go back and ask for more money. You know, that I would say you take the loss. But in this particular instance, um, this was not, um, you were not, you, you were, uh, doing your due diligence. You were, um, forthcoming. Um, and so you were honest and you didn't try to do anything deliberate. And so in that regard, I think if you continue on that path, you should, you know, that people can only respect you for it. They're not going to like it. So, I mean, the fact that whether you look stupid or not, I mean, that's, you're, we're in business. Like you, you're going to not look great in everybody's eyes. I mean, I, trust me, I promise you, I, I don't look great in everybody's eyes. If you go back and ask some people, they're going to say, Eric, that guy, he's, you know, but um, I have been honest and people can only respect me for that. You know, whether they like the situation, the decision that I made, that's a whole nother story. But will they say I was dishonest? Um, in the transaction, they can't say that. So again, it sounds like to me that, um, you know, based on the, what you've told me, uh, that again, it was a, a, a mis- it was an honest mistake. Could it have been avoided? Absolutely. Um, but that comes with experience and you can't gain experience by sitting on the sideline. Yeah. Okay. So, and I mean, I, 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 I just wanted to make sure my biggest worry was that I was going to get the barred and nah, stuff you like won't get that. Barred. Now, listen, do you know how many of these large companies out here screw the government? They screw the government. They take advantage of the government. They overcharge. What about the people that overcharge Medicare or Medicaid? They still doing business with the government. They pay a penalty and they keep going. What about the people that say they're going to hire subcontractors, minorities, hub zones? they, They don't do none of that stuff. Again, they pay a penalty and keep going. If they even pay a penalty, they say, oh, we're sorry. We made a mistake. Like uh, this guy said to me, this is like a fart in the wind. Oh. <laughs> you like look uh, two years from well, now. I, well, I appreciate you get you getting on the phone with me, man. I appreciate this. You helped me yeah. out, man. You know, two, I mean, but you motivated me to do to do this. I mean, I got other contracts pending, and so even if, just just a, just a quick question about the bar, I man. If you were to bar, it, you want me to bar? Well, if you were, but is that is that only? I, I want to know for for people who do that when that happens. I've seen it on on the website. So my question for you is this. But the people who, the people that you've seen at bar, man, let me tell you, they really had to screw up bad. Like they, I mean, they had to do some really intentional bad stuff. Okay. okay. Like they, I mean, these people literally, they went out and defraud the government. Okay. They did. Okay. Like they, they, they were sitting at home or in their office saying, we going to screw the government. And they knew it and they did it anyways. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. the people who got the part. Like so. So, so like, okay. So, so so that's more of a. I was on some criminal sl- slip. I'm on some criminal slimy stuff. I'm okay. I'm gonna do it anyways because okay. You know what? It's worth this ten million dollars, and if they catch me, whatever, I'll do my time. That's who yeah. gets the bar. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay. I mean, so, look, so something like this just just gets you canceled, and you might get a canceled contract, and you might lose a canceled the contract. Somebody gonna say, "Hey, don't do business with this guy." Look, listen. Let me tell you something. I've worked with agencies. They change people ten times. Hell, that the the third person ain't gonna remember you. <laughs> yeah. They're not even gonna talk about you. It, yeah. By the time it comes around, they're not even gonna know this story happened. People's memories are so short. It's it's incredible, and and you know. Um, I hate to say it, but it's just true. Is that look? Some people already forgot the real estate crash. Yeah, <laughs> that was two thousand eight. That was less than ten years ago. I mean, they are they back. Listen, people back overpaying for properties again right now today. They yeah. forgot the real estate crash. They back overpaying for properties, hmm. and you know, throwing their money down the toilet all over again. And they're gonna say, "Oh my gosh, no one told me." But I'm look, but hey man, you know I'm looking to I'm looking to work with you man on some other stuff possibly maybe some uh some con because I I don't do construction but I was I was trying I've seen a lot of good co situations that people are trying to put me on to but I'm not a construction company but I want to I, I'm thinking about subbing out and trying like the stuff you've been talking about subbing out to people who are no I'm man trying. listen like I said hey again I invest my time with people who invest in me so again you know I tell people I just got a guy signed up for the course uh, three days ago. He turned out, he worked at Honeywell and Schneider Electric. He was a head of IT division for Europe and Asia. And um, within two days, I put him on a conference call with a team to go after a $10 billion contract. Billion? Billion, yeah. Oh. Because he, he had the prerequisites. So he oh. had the pedigree with the, the, the big company behind him to be able to do it. But he didn't expect that. But again, like I said, when I get to know people and they come into my circle, of the people that I interact with, then you well, know, what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do for you, man, is I'm, I'm going to sign up and get your full course. But yeah. uh, I've, I've been watching you on YouTube. You just you. I, I know you've heard about Felicia Streeter. I, I watch you guys, and I know Felicia about. Streeter. I mean, I've, I've heard of Felicia. You know, um, and people. I've never watched any of her videos, but I've heard about her. Yeah. So I mean, but think about it, man. We're gonna we're gonna do some business, man. I appreciate you getting on the call with me because I got a lot. I'm an IT guy. I'm, I'm big in IT. And are you really? Yeah, so I mean, I there's a lot of IT stuff out there floating around. I've got a lady right now. I'm trying to go to GSA, at. so you know my thing is. I'm no, we got GSA people on GSA. Yeah, listen, I, I, sign up for the course, and I'll introduce you to the people that's already on GSA 70 schedule. Uh, the GSA Stars 2 IT vehicle. I mean, we've got a DC mastermind with all the people do IT. They're all the okay. IC space, all of them. Okay. We've got 29 companies that all they do 30. Some got 30 employees. Some have 70 employees. Some have 40 employees, um, and I could put you in that circuit like that. Well, I have I have zero employees. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> I'm no, a no, monster all by myself. Hey, I'm an IT. See, basically what I did was I learned everything IT need, necessary to build my stuff to make it automated to where I can make it happen. I got. But you know what? I'm going to say this. Really, um, and you don't need all those employees because, again, one of the things that I do and I teach people, and I, I'm telling you, man, this thing works. Forget it. If you try to create the infrastructure to support all of these people, it's gonna, it's, it's just gonna take you such a long time to do it. Um, whereas, you know, you can take, like, like I said, this guy. I'm like, listen, go out and bring this company to the table. We're gonna get a small business part to the table. We're gonna do a joint venture, and then um, because you're an IT, right? Then I would trust that you could do be the liaison between the agency. And the actual people doing the work so you can oversee that stuff. you're not going to make any money doing it hands-on just like what they tell you in the e-myth revisited book like if you try to be the baker and, and run the bakery facility like the store you're not going to make any money you have to be you have to want to be the person at the top the leader so again not um all you've got to do like one of my guys in that group i told him i said listen go out and get 30 resumes for it people 30 resumes you don't need the people to go get 30 resumes. Now, what you could do, once he has those 30 resumes, um, the next time someone that I know gets an IT contract and needs to staff the contract, I'm going to tell them to call you because you've got 30 people ready to go. And you can staff the contract. So now you went from nobody, right, to, to, to having a, a 30 person uh, team. So so basically what I do, man, I, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing procurement, you know, laptop, desktop servers, Dell equipment. I'm a Dell federal and Dell, Dell commercial uh, vendor. I'm licensed or authorized on that, but I'm also Good. trying to get over into uh, 
I also have a staffing company as well. So okay. I'm trying, I'm, that's, that's the other part I'm trying to really raise in, but I've been trying to go through like MSPs and things like that to become an actual uh, work with like, you know, tap fin, the big ones and stuff like that mm -hmm. for major companies. But uh, I know there's IT, uh, IT contracts and things and I need GSA and things like that for staffing. I'm just staffing. trying to get, I'm, I'm, so, I'm, so I'm trying to get, get in. So I'm just getting into this. So, I mean, I've been doing this about, I've had to come about two years. I made a little money, like joint recruiting and stuff like that. Okay. And this, I got my first IT contract with, with Marine Corps. So I'm, so I'm, I'm learning myself. I'm, I'm going through the fire right now. So I'm no, learning. No, no. So, so. Listen, listen, listen. There's nothing wrong with that. I, like I told you earlier, I'm not, I, I'm not knocking you. I think that what you did was great. Um, because a lot of people are sitting on the sidelines say, "What if? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if?" You know. I mean, look, I've I've been sued twice. You know, and again, when you're going through it, it sucks and it hurts and you feel bad, but it's part of your experience. But, but like, your insurance covers the suits, though, right? No, the insurance company on one of them covered the attorneys for me. Okay. They cover the attorney's fees. The second one, because it was construction, had a bond. They wouldn't let me do it because I had a bond on it. That the bond was supposed to cover everything, so the insurance company wouldn't cover it. It was like a one of those clauses in your insurance. If you got a bond, the bond takes a precedence, but the bonding company only wants to settle with the with anyone who's threatened and sued. So they could care less about you, but they'll pay it, all the claims. But then you still have to pay them ultimately. Okay, so you still owe them too. Right, so you owe them. So Whereas insurance will protect you, right? And at the end of the day, you won't owe anybody any money. The bond will just pay everybody out and then send you the bill. <laughs> okay. So it's, it's different in that regard, which is why a lot of people don't like the bonding side because even um, after you've, you've made all this money in your life, you could go out and get a bad project and, you know, get wiped out. Yeah. And it, it sucks. Okay. But, but again, that's neither here nor there. Don't don't worry yourself with things that uh concern that don't concern you. Yes. How, how much how much is the course again? Just just to just to relax. So, Nine ninety seven. Okay, I'm gonna do it's that. Also half of one of your laptops. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, yeah. So I'm I'm also using the funding company to do it. So PO funding company to pay for our, everything. That's our, good. So you've learned a lot. So yeah. So I'm not I'm not doing everything coming out of my own pocket. So no, no. That's, that's but that's great. That's that's the way it should be. Like I said, I wouldn't worry about this. Look, go get the letter from Ingram. Um, tell him, listen, tell him, look, I don't want no discounts. Give me something in writing. <laughs> Forget all the discounts. Because, I mean, the discounts aren't going to help you get back to, they're not going to give you $2,000, $2,200 in discounts. Yeah. yeah. So, look, tell him, keep your stupid discounts. Give me something in writing that I could go back into the government and fight with. And then okay. that way we could still try and, we could still try and keep this contract um, in place. If not, uh, the whole thing's going to be dismantled and we're going to be starting from day one, which again, they don't care because, you know, they're a billion dollar company. Okay. So, and, you know, but let's see if they want to save face. Let's see if they want to be uh, honorable. Yeah. You know, but you know, I, I just feel like they lawyered up real quick when they, when, I, when they saw what happened, they were like, they're like oh, I said, well, uh, we got to talk to the lawyer and uh, we going to see what's going on. Like, I'm, I'm like, man, I said, I said, dude, I said, what, 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 I said, y'all sent me this information. They're like, oh, well, we're sorry, blah, blah, blah. You know, we, we're sorry about that. And they're like, you know. Send me something in writing that I could take back to the contracting folks and state that this is what happened. Maybe they'll take pity on us. Okay. No guarantees. I see. Well, that's still, thank you, man. Take care, brother. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate it. Um, I'll be in touch with you, though, man. I'm, I'm, okay. on, I'm on Facebook, so I'll get at you, man. All right. Okay. Thanks. All right. That works. Take care. Good luck.